Um, we're working on Girl from Ipanema. And the idea here is that I'm just going to give you the left-hand voicings first. Okay. And you you want to, you have a chart to it, but you want to move your melody up an octave from where it is in the chart because you don't want both hands just like collapsed in the middle. Yeah. And I think we're going to play this. I think we're going to be playing this with a play along. So the first chord, and you'll be playing these with your left hand, but for, for this video, I'm going to put a bass note under it so you can hear it. Here's the bass note. And then F position two. So D, G, A, C. Right. And then you go to the G13, which is this. Yeah, you're you're up an octave too high though. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Uh, looking at it again. All right. And then now the uh, G minor. Oh yeah. That, okay. That one. Right. And then and, and hang on. Now I think I need to look at a chart because I can't remember if the chart goes to a it says G flat seven. To a, oh it's a G flat seven, yeah. So you <clears throat> so your G flat seven, let's see, you, you've done this, it starts here. And then G flat seven. Right. And then back to your F. Okay, so that's going to be the first, that'll be the first uh, A section and the second A section. Then, you know, your melody is going to be up in here. Let me move this over a little bit. After you got those chords kind of comfy. play a G flat seven there in the first inning if you want. Yeah, this or this, or even that, any of those work. And that'll kind of get you by. Okay, now let's go to the bridge. Let's do it, G flat major. G flat major, I like, I like this voicing for G flat major. Yeah, that's cool, right? Yeah. And then B7. So here's the B and then flat A flat, A, C sharp. Right. Okay, you got that. And then F sharp minor. And then your D7 is here. It's like from Take the A Train. I think this keyboard with the new colors is really helps people quickly learn this shit. Yeah, yeah it's a lot easier to see. Yeah. Okay, and then now your G minor. Same one we did before. And then your E flat seven. We've played this chord a million times. And you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about like learning these all instantly because I'll see you in the video. Yep. And then A minor. Now, real quick, Rob, on this chart, um, there, it's there's an E flat over a B flat minor, and then E flat seven. Should I be playing E flat seven over both of those bars? You think? Or uh, you, you can. I mean, if you want to do it. If you want to do it to B flat minor, it would be this. And then to the E flat, it just does that. It's just that bottom note. Oh, I like that. I like that. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Right. 
So then you go oh. A minor. The same D7 from earlier or something? Yeah, no, probably with flat nine in there. Yeah. And then G minor. seven with flat nine i mean it's just a nice little walk down and this is a cool turnaround so a minor it's all white keys then d i just can't quite see my d hold on then g minor and a c and that's the whole tune right there yeah and from there, it'll go back to the F, which would be this. So now let's see what the how those chords sound. This is the bridge. That little turnaround in there actually <laughs> that one out of your blues actually sounds nice in that first inning man <laughs> yeah but you don't want to do a turnaround on the second inning you got to stay on that f for two bars because it's going to lead upwards into that g flat now, oh, another, so way, cool. another way to just kind of learn this is to is to put a uh, root five like out of my voicings book, a root five in the bass and just play. made the right hand more complicated and oh yeah it's a This is one of the most beautiful bridges in jazz man <laughs> so good. it's like just <laughs> <laughs> I could do this all night. <laughs> I could listen all night. <laughs> So, I, I mean, that's a nice new tune, man. I think that's a good choice for you. Yeah, I really like it. And um, so what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll figure out how to um, save. Well, you might want to stop recording. It'll probably save you some video so file size. Oh, good idea. 